Hello YouTube people, how are you doing? Let's talk about this beautiful watch. This is one of the slimmest or probably even the slimmest Casio digital watch. It is ultra slim, looks very dressy and as you can see it disappears under a cuff easily as well. There, there was a little problem with this watch. I was thinking what I gonna tell you about this watch. It kind of didn't really provoke any excessive emotions to me. And you know, I don't really like doing very simple reviews where, where I would simply tell you the measurements. I would tell you that yes, it's shiny and buy good watch. I want to give some kind of a vibe, an emotion that you could probably feel the watch better, how it feels for me. And currently, well, it's very neutral, I would say. This watch looks very neutral, very low contrast, and it could be worn with absolutely anything. I mean, seriously, with a tracksuit, with jeans, with a long sleeve shirt, it's very, very universal watch. And it's so slim and it's so low contrast neutral, it's barely noticeable. It, it kind of, I, I guess it does the job, you know, it's very simple, but the simplicity is very strong point, seriously. It, it kind of makes it look very elegant. The watch has to be simple to be elegant. And this is one of the most elegant digital watches that I have seen. And it's quite an achievement, I would say. Casio did a great job on that. Well, as you can see, it is very sharp looking, very elegant watch with low contrast. Not, not a colorful one. <laughs> it's just silver and gray. And well, straight to the point, the main selling point really, well, probably the main selling point is its neutrality, that it fits anything and it looks so elegant. But another very, very important point is its slimness. Let's quickly measure it out. It is only six millimeters in thickness, only six millimeters. So it's very slim, very thin and Lug to lug is around around 37 millimeters and from side to side it is 33 millimeters. So it's very well proportioned little beautiful watch and it originally comes with this mesh bracelet which I would say this is the best bracelet that Casio makes for under 100 euros. I mean, it's, it feels very good on the hand, it doesn't pull here, it's very, very comfortable and <clears throat> it has this, this slidey clasp which is very easy to micro adjust into those little grooves. It's very easy to adjust, very comfy and it's very breathable. If you look to the light with this you can see those little holes so it's very breathable your hand iron gonna get hot with this one and when you put it on your hand at first it was a little bit too rounded for me it kind of look i'll show you it was a little it was a little bit like this and it was staying in this shape but this is metal so you can actually press it so it apply it little force and actually shaped it into a little oval and now it's and now it wears way way more comfortably and it's serious it's very comfy but i'm not the biggest fan of how this mesh bracelet looks like it's very shiny very dressy and i kind of want to just dress it down a little bit so let's try something different well, my first option was putting it on the rubber strap of F91W and yeah, it looks sportier, less dressy, well not dressy at all right now, but you know, it doesn't really go well with this face, I would say it uh, makes a little bit too much of a contrast. 
well, it looks all right, but I think we could do something better. Now I took the bracelet of this beautiful watch and in my opinion it looks better than with these mesh mesh bracelets it looks all right it looks all right those square links work very well together with this square face by the way this is my previous mod watch and i also put a nato strap on it it looks incredible really and if you want to see the modding video of this watch the link is in the description so at first it was on these rubber straps as i made in the last video but now i put it on this nato navy blue and it looks absolutely incredible and you probably get where i'm going with this watch okay let's try yet another option well now we're talking now it looks good it looks cool now it looks cool before it looked dressy now it looks cool and i personally prefer the cool look over the dressy look i love it looks incredible and by the way the funny thing is i don't have 18 millimeter nato straps <laughs> all my straps are 20 millimeter and those lugs are 18 millimeter uh, with, and this strap is 20 so the good news is if i manage to squeeze in 20 millimeter strap into these lugs so you have will have no problem whatsoever squeezing in 18 millimeter uh, strap and i have chosen exactly this color variation because it, in my opinion it goes the best with this face of course it would be better if there would be no black stripes there would be like dark gray stripes but i currently don't have one like that and this one looks pretty good as well in my, my opinion but but i want to step a little bit further and make it a little bit crazier you know, yesterday evening I was sitting down with this watch, playing around. I was playing with this piece of uh, polarizing filter. And at first, you know, if we put polarizing filter on the screen, which has polarizing filter as well. So if you put them in the same uh, opposite direction, I don't even know, it blocks the light. Otherwise, it lets all the light through. But... I put the polarizing filter the wrong side on the face and just look what happens. It gets, gets chameleon, gets a lot like rainbow. Yes, legibility is not as great as without a filter. Well, the legibility is basically the same now as with negative display, I would say but man that looks awesome that looks great so you know what let's modify this watch and make it look that cool so okay let's open it up oh i almost forgot i have to wear gloves i don't want to leave my hand oils on the, on the inside of the watch and i don't want to leave any fingerprints okay now i'm ready to open it up let's put the keys back to the side and here are the internals that's how it looks like from the inside this rubber seal sits very nicely okay let's put it on the sponge which i have already soaked in the oil okay okay so that's that's how it looks like and that's how the inside of this case looks like so i i have to glue the polarizing filter on the inside on this thing 
I don't really need to be very accurate because it will overlap greatly and you won't be able to see any edges. Okay, so let's quickly double check which side have I have to apply it. Yes, this one. Okay, so if the case goes like so, so let's just flip it over. Okay, so let's put the movement inside and see what is the result. Oh, nicely. Nicely. And wow, the result. The result. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Wow, the result I must say is rather crazy looking. Wow. Looks very green. Looks kinda purple. Purple, green, purple. Wonderful. Okay, let's put on the NATO strap. Well, isn't very easy to squeeze in 20 millimeter strap into 18 millimeter lugs, but it's done. Looks kind of crazy. Wow. Have you ever seen a screen like this? I believe Timex makes something like this, if I'm not wrong. Wow. Now it's very interesting. So here we are. The mode is finished. This watch. This watch. Well, now it's quite something. Now it's quite special. <laughs> okay, I'll give you some time to look at it. Well, leg legibility is a little bit compromised now. But I would say it's no worse than the negative display. See for yourself. Okay, first of all, the negative display. That's how it looks like. Chameleon display. That's how it looks like. Okay, so I have turned on one additional light. Let's try this time. Wow. Isn't that crazy? You can just imagine how it looks like in the sunlight. But sadly, it's, it's November now. And in the location where I live, uh, the sunlight in the November, it's quite a rare commodity. <laughs> so I don't have the sunlight today. And yet again, let's compare it to negative display. And a comparison with negative display. Well, legibility, I would say, is basically the same. Wow, wow, wow. These are two wonderful looking watches. By the way, if you want to see modding video on this watch, the link is in the description. And this one is just... Wow. Now it's quite something special. Here it is on the hand. Looks crazy. How? I mean, why nobody does that? It looks incredible. So, I'm very happy with the result. It looks very amazing, very special, custom. There is one off. There is no another watch which looks like this one, I believe. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Amazing. Such an amazing thing with Casios. At first, I thought, well, this G-Shock is crazy good because it provoked my inner child. And look, the end result of this. The end result, what my inner child does to things. 
and that was amazing. I thought this is the one, one thing, but this is my second Casio, and I tried changing uh, seconds hand, and I broke the movement, and I changed uh, the bracelet, the clasp, and well, I have already another movement arrived, and I'll be fixing this watch. I'll make a video about fixing this watch, changing the movement. That movement was just three euros, the same as in in the in this one, the original one, just three euros, not no biggie. We'll change that, and another Casio. Look, also, it's gutless. It has no internals anymore, <laughs> and another another Casio. And another Casio, and like, come on, that's what Casio does to me. It provokes my inner child. I just love these Casio watches. They are so amazing. I feel like a kid <laughs> wearing them. So, well, I'm gonna make more videos like this. If you like something like this, please consider subscribing. <laughs> so, that's it. Have a nice day. Goodbye.